Senator from Delaware. Thank you, Mr. President. I uh, want to reserve the uh, right to object. I'll say to Senator Thone before, while he's still on the floor, he knows uh, I have great respect for him and, and his, his views on all kinds of issues. Later, go on. Senator, there was nothing to object to. All right, well, then I'll just wait. <laughs> Uh, well, when I do have an ob an, uh, the opportunity to object to, I want to explain why. <laughs> and uh, having said that, Senator Thune knows that we, we look for opportunities to work together. This is just one of those instances where we, uh, we don't see entirely eye to eye. Uh, Mr. President, right now, the American people face two existential threats to our way of life. One is the threat of, threat to really to our world order imposed by, uh, not so much by Russia, but by Putin, the president of that country. And, the other is the threat of uh, climate change. The legislation uh, we're discussing today assumes that we must ignore the threats of climate change in order to wean our nation off of foreign oil from countries like Russia. But this is a false choice. Since the Arab oil embargo of 1973, some have argued that if we simply drill more oil, we can be free of the price whiplash caused by international disruptions in the global oil market. This wasn't true during the Arab oil embargo. It wasn't true during the Iranian revolution. It wasn't true during the 1990 Gulf War, or more recently, during the Iraq War. And it is not true today. Yet the legislation before us clings to the false understanding of oil markets. We've drilled more, but the uh, oil prices that we pay are still impacted by global events. Instead, we need policies that help our economy smoothly transition off of oil, while at the same time giving consumers more choices to fuel their cars, their trucks, and their vans. We need more consumers, we need to give consumers real fuel choices that are domestically produced, better for climate, and that aren't uh, tied to the global oil markets. The choices could include electricity from nuclear energy, an issue on which the presiding officer and I uh, strongly agree, uh, biofuels made by our farmers, which uh, Senator Thune uh, strongly agrees and has alluded to, and uh, fuel cells running on clean hydrogen produced, in many cases, by our refineries. All of these options are things we should be pursuing, that we should be pursuing, and on which there is wide uh, consensus. In doing so, we buffer our economy against the threat of Russia and, and the threat of climate change. And with that, when it's appropriate for me to object, I'm ready to object. Let me yield the, the floor to, uh, to our, our colleague from Missouri, Senator Collier. And let me just say to him, I, I don't object uh, lightly. Uh, uh, and my hope is that we'll, we haven't had a chance to talk about this uh, before today. And I look forward to that. Uh, that conversation in, in the days ahead. Thank you. I, I yield the floor.